in poetry, which I've described Trinidad as a desert, and it's very funny, an American diplomat, I once showed him a poem, and he said, but I don't understand, you live in a country that's so green and so beautiful, why would you use the metaphor desert to describe it? And I said, I'm talking about intellectual desert. If you think now, for instance, that there needs to be a generation, very small, concentrated generation of, of other artists, it is very hard to have lived here so long and have the same feeling of where do these people go to? What center do they have? What connection can they make? What kind of training do they get? Yes, exactly. Yeah. The artists will always be a minority because he goes against the, the grain. But what the majority goes for, he's against. And not because he's perverse, but because the, what the majority normally goes for is the lowest common denominator, isn't it? The majority, like, like sheep, eventually are headed towards dross, you know. Now the world rises in honor of Derek Walcott of Castries St. Lucia. Like an elder trembling for Susanna naked, he murmured to the mirror, No, my thoughts are pure. They're meant to help the people, ignorant and poor, but these, smile the bracelet, are the vows of empire. The Trinidad Theatre Workshop has spent the last 30-odd years on these boards, bringing Derek Walcott's plays to life. <laughs> 